Streptococcus pneumoniae remains the dominant causative agent of meningitis, community-acquired pneumonia, bacteremia and otitis media, globally. 1.6 million people died each year. In Malaysia 2,809 people become victim of it. Its burden is found mostly in youngers and infants. It is gram-positive bacteria and grows in long chains because it's Diplococcus property. The capsule protected from neutrophil. Peptidoglycan layer is sandwiched between inner and outer cell wall and contains many choline binding proteins. Its virulence factors include, capsular polysaccharide prevents entrapment by mucus during colonization. Zinc metal operates cleaves human immunoglobin A1. Pneumolysin reduces ciliary beating. Phosphoryl-choline and choline binding protein A involve in binding and invasion on epithelial cells. Enolase not only binds on plasminogen and facilitate tissue invasion but also involve in anitosis. Netosis is of two types. One is lytic netosis also named as suicidal netosis. In which DNA threads come out due to rapture of plasma membrane of neutrophil. And become a cause of neutrophil death. The second one is non-lytic netosis also called as vital netosis. Which helps in killing pathogens by entrapping them in its extracellular traps. And trigger antimicrobial activity. The objective of this study to identify the functionally conserved sequence of Streptococcus pneumoniae involved in the induction of netosis and to examine immunogenic response of alpha enolase by inducing netosis. Alpha enolase binds on myoblast antigen of neutrophil for induction of netosis, and this antigen is only present on neutrophil. The figure is representing protein protein interaction. Alpha enoli sequence from 197 to 211 amino acid is considered potential amino acids for induction of netosis. Moreover, glutamic acid residue on 205 position of alpha enolase is found active site residue. We duct multiple alignments and do molecular dynamics simulation. Then we found a best ligand as per our investigation. Here green and orange dotted lines are showing hydrogen bonds and electrostatic bonds, respectively. This ligand is completely inhibiting the pocket by binding strong bonds with active site residues. Here the green and pink surface of a protein exhibiting hydrogen bond donor and acceptor, respectively. Ligand is making a strong conventional hydrogen bond with active site glutamic acid 205 residue of alpha enolase.